Hello YouTube, today we have SSD reliability. What do I think about solid states? What are my favorite brands? What's best for speed? What's best for reliability? We're also going to go into other technologies that can get you almost the speed of solid states. Have a look. <laughs> So to start off, what do I think of, of solid state drives and what's my favorite? I personally like the Samsung drives, so I'll tell you why. They happen to be some of the fastest drives. I have some that can get up to something like 2000 megabits per second on SATA 3 channel. Those are regular SATA 3 drives. Those are no PCIe, no PCIe mini, none of that kind of stuff. So one of the things that one of the reasons that they're so fast is because they use a technology that's similar to RAM disks. They actually use part of your RAM, so they will use more RAM, and they use that for solid, for the solid state to make it faster. Now, I don't know if they use it for cache or if they actually use it for, uh, for um, disk space, but I know that it really makes things a lot faster. Um, generically, uh, uh, historically speaking, TLC flash, which is what the 840 uh, Evo has, is... <coughs> It's not the greatest type of flash memory. It dies quickly. It's not that fast. But with the software that they have, they make it really fast and last even longer. Some other big uh, contenders out there are Crucial and, and Kingston HyperX. So I actually was just reading an article the other day, and I couldn't find it because I think I was looking at it on my phone. Um, and, I, and it was recommended to me by Google Now. And it was actually stating that out of the, all the different vendors, the ones that lasted by like twice as long as all the others was the 840 Pro. Uh, sorry, I think it's the 840 Pro, but it's the Samsung Pro drives. Um, I think they're 840 as well. There's the 840 Evo and the 840 Pro. The 840 Pro was the one that actually um, lasted, I think, the longest. And the other um, second best was the was this was the Kingston HyperX. So when we talk about reliability, these are really important factors. Again, historically speaking, not to use that word that term too much, um, Intel drives have been the fastest or they've been the most reliable drives. Um, I remember way back when I first bought my first solid state in about 2008-2009, it was a, a 80 gigabyte um, solid state from Intel. I, think, I can't remember, I think it was a, I can't remember the model number, but the, the thing cost me $250 and I bought it at, at the computer store. They were really expensive and they really come down now. I think they're less than 50 cents a gig. So I really think solid states are great. I would not use them in a server. I have lots of friends who say to me, well, why don't you use solid states in a, in a server? Well, even if you use the wrong type of drive, like SAS drive, let's say if you use a SAS drive from a from a E-series or, or, or an X3850 or something like that from the old Lenovo, you use it in a modern Lenovo, um, I've actually seen, I was actually being shown this by one of the systems at my work, it actually doesn't talk right, the firmware of the drive, to the light on the drive, like the light that blinks to let you know if the drive has failed. So that's why you don't want to just put solid states in a server unless you have a really good reason to do it. There are reasons that you might want to, but, you know, default configuration for a customer, you do not want to do that. You want to use, you know, 10,000 or 15,000 RPM drives and put them in some kind of really fast rate array. Maybe you want to do a strike, probably not for data, but maybe you have an application that needs that. Or you could do like a really big RAID 5 array. You know, the more drives you add to a RAID 5 array, the faster it gets. However, um, the more chance that one drive fails, you're going to lose your entire array. That's where RAID 6 comes in, but you can't have as many drives in a RAID 6 array as RAID 5. And then there's other things like RAID 10, which is a or RAID 1 plus 0, uh, which is a strike in the mirror or a mirror of a strike. There's different things you can do, or you can have hot spares. There's lots of different things you can do with hard drives um, to make them almost as fast as solid states. And there's other technologies out there like um, smart response technology or um, um, rapid cache, as they call it in Lenovo. Um, I think it's called rapid cache or something like that, or express cache. Basically, what they do is they take a solid state and they use it as the cache for a normal hard drive. So you take like a small 16 or, because you got to remember that hard drive cache is like a, like, a, like a Western Digital Black is like a 64 megabyte cache space. So that's actually not um, not that big, but they're able to to provide a lot of speed compared to a, like a 32 uh, megabyte cache drive. Um, so you could imagine what would happen if you took 16 megabyte, or 16 gigabytes of solid state um, flash memory and used it for cache for a normal hard drive, you could get almost solid state speeds. So there's lots of things that you know you can do now, and you know boot times are faster now with UEFI. Now a lot of people don't like UEFI too because because of um, 
because of, they can't boot Linux as easy and stuff like that, but it actually does make your computer, it's supposed to make it more secure, I won't say it does, and it does make your computer boot a little bit faster. So, um, I really do like the Samsung drive, I like Kingston too, um, but it, it really depends what you like when you want to buy a solid state, and you know, it's, it's, it's important to understand that you don't want to just, if you buy a solid state, you don't want to just have a solid state, and, you, and, you, and if you buy a solid state, you're going to have to get used to every time you install a program to another drive to change the letter from a C to a D or to an F, or whatever your, your, your game is, and if you're okay with that, that's fine, some people don't like doing that, so solid states aren't for everyone, but they're, you know, they, they are really getting cheaper now, and I really do recommend them, and they're almost as reliable as normal hard drives, if not more, some people would argue they, they, they are more reliable, like Linus from, Linus Sebastian from the NCIX Tech Tips, uh, NCIX and Linus Tech Tips, I mean, he, he will, he will say that they're actually more reliable than hard drives, but it depends what you're doing. Um, I've also was just reading that Linus Travolta was saying they're not reliable at all because of what he does with his compiling. Um, just wears them out really fast. Uh, or something like that. But I digress on all that. Those are my opinions on solid states. Those are some other technologies that we can use to almost get as fast as solid state speed. Let me know what you guys are running. What kind of solid states do you guys like to use? Are you guys using a Crucial? Are you using a, are you using a, you know, a Kingston? Are you using a Samsung? Do you have some other kind of solid state that no one's ever heard of or using an A data? Um, tell me what you guys think are the best, okay? Rate and subscribe. Catch you later.